Hi everyone, welcome to Canon Quick Tips. In this episode, I'm going to share five tips with you on street photography that will hopefully help you get the images you desire. Thanks for tuning in. Kelly from Canon here. Let's talk about street photography. First, what is it? Street photography is photographing in a public setting. You don't have to be in the city, although the city is one of my favorite places to shoot, and you don't have to have people in your images either. You can be anywhere. Ultimately, street photography is the candid capture of everyday life. Tip number one. I'm starting off with what is likely the most important and easiest tip that I'm going to share with you. This tip is really for any photographer, but it's very important for street photographers. Know your gear. Sometimes you need to move fast before the scene you want to capture is gone. Missing the shot can be disappointing, especially if it's because you're fiddling around with your camera. So use your gear, work through the menu, and make capturing with your camera second nature. Tip number two. If possible, minimize your gear. This isn't a must, but I personally prefer to use a smaller camera and lens setup while wandering the streets photographing. It's lighter, easier to carry, can fit in your pocket, and won't attract the attention that a large camera and lens may attract. This attention can change the scene by having people notice you photographing. Tip number three, look for the light. Different times of the day will give you totally different looks. Pay attention to your surroundings. Analyze the light and the weather. Also, pay attention to your aperture and how much depth of field you want in the scene. This is important to the whole feeling of an image and can be used to direct attention onto a subject while blurring out the background. Looking for light is especially important at night. Work with the artificial light around you. Also note that when capturing at night, a wide aperture may be best because it will let more light into the lens. Photographing during the blue hour is a beautiful fun time to create imagery. The blue hour tends to last around 30 minutes just after sunset and right before sunrise. At this time of day, the sky can turn a delicious blue color. Try mixing the natural deep blue light with artificial light. This could create an interesting look. Tip number four, change your perspective. Think past the image straight on. This may be best, but are there other ways, maybe better ways to tell your story? Try capturing with your camera high or low. Think outside the box. Use reflections. Find them anywhere, like in glass storefronts or puddles after the rain. Some scenes call for a longer shutter speed, which can create movement in your image. Carrying around a tripod for street photography doesn't always work out. I prefer not to. So use anything around you that can help you keep your camera still. Walls, barriers, whatever you can find. Sometimes, intentionally moving the camera can create interesting imagery as well. Plus, it's just fun to experiment and see what you can get. And tip number five, use your intuition. If you see a spot you want to photograph, but it's just missing an element like a person or a car going through the image, be patient and wait for it. Using your intuition to watch and try to determine a direction a subject is going to go is part of the game. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose, but there's always fun in trying. Thanks for joining us. Be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the content. Please leave a comment or question below and we'll do our best to get back to you. Thanks again for joining us for this quick tip episode, and we'll be back again with another episode. Until then, keep photographing and as always, have fun with it. Thanks for watching.